Okay, welcome back to the Air Other Voices Trail. We're here outside a pop-up little shop set up by my cousin Ona called the Hub. And Ona is, let's say, overseeing, overseeing or curating a kind of little vinyl nostalgia exhibition here called... What's the miracle? And the truck's gone by, so I don't know if you can hear, so we better walk in and have a Come look. Come on in anyway. You can see it's beautifully lit. <laughs> Very impressive for a bag and... So when you come to, when you arrive in Dingle, this is where you come as a um, first part to call for information in the hub. And while you're here, you get to see this beautiful exhibition. I'll show you around. So I'll show you around, Kim. Sorry, it's a bit mad in here at the moment. <laughs> um, sorry. We'll, just see, we'll start here. I'm not going to go through everything, but we'll just do a brief. Um, this is Deirdre Ham, and she just spoke to the podcast about this amazing piece. She's a surfer, it's inspired by the Atlantic. Um, I think she froze it and frisbee did it off the wall. And this is Ross Stewart, he's an um, Oscar Award winning animator who works at Cartoon Saloon and Sound of the Sea. This arrived today. The postman actually drove me to my house to collect it because he left it on my back windowsill wrapped in. From where? It came from Kilkenny. But it's a beautiful piece. You can see the musical notes here. Um, Marvin Ross's plot, men's type. This is Odi, your friend. And I'm, he's been talking to you online for two years. Owen and Carl. Electric Fox. Yes. And I, we I never mean, met. No, we didn't meet. We met over the summer. Did you? Because he said he might do a gig together sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's um, not only a musician, but he makes these beautiful atoms and he makes things like de like desks for decks out of pianos. And so he's, what's interesting there is you can cross over with music and art and people who are hoarding and collecting and record lovers and record records. We're not sure which they are in this exhibition. Okay, you have to guess who this is. I would say that's Glen Campbell. Yeah. Is I think you're going to have to win it now. That's what Andrew Duggan says. Whoever wins it. No, Whoever guesses like, it. I've got that hanging at home with my wife. But Tony Clayton yeah. Lee guessed it as well. So you're obviously both fans. Anyway, gone at him. It's an intervention. Well, it's like that little <laughs> soul like spags over there. It's very funny. Yeah. Uh, John Flynn. These are hand painted or acrylic ink. And he's selling in the markets in Cork at the moment. Very reasonably priced. You have Sheena Yolzari, and she also did these carved pieces here. They're really intricate and really well, really well made. And um, again, they're very reasonably priced. Um, Kemp, the Kemp Gallery in Dublin. He's a street artist known for Waterford Walls project. And um, they're beautiful. I think. Yeah. It's really sweet and really well designed. I have a fetish for being kind of yeah, We big, might have a fire. He also Lisa made, J on vinyl, by the way. Lisa J is here. <laughs> This is uh, about the environment and it's, it was taken in with filters in Iceland when she was an art residency over there, a friend of mine. And then Steve Kemp, he did really helped me with collecting a lot of the artworks here and he's opened a new gallery in Dublin and it's about street artists. And this is, um, it looks like Sinead O'Connor but it's not, it's a model. Basically it was Waterford Crystal, a rose um, crystal. And she was a model. And this actually plays, but they won't, it's like the belt drive is quite delicate. So it's actually, it before, yeah. yeah, it's brilliant. Um, but it, it should be, it, it would, we would work better on a flat surface in terms of spinning. This is beautiful, beautiful. Piece. We keep going. Yeah. Brian Hagerty, again, um, he had a hundred of these at the RHA in September, and these are all collage record teams. So he collects and he recreates, and he, they're amazing. Yeah. They become something new every time. Yeah, yeah. So you can imagine a wall with a hundred of them. Yeah. Kira McKenna, she's over here. She's a local artist. Give her a quick look, and that's her sister, George McKenna. They're both in the show, and they're always, there's no party without the McKenna sisters. Thank you, Sean. Catch and Byron, represented by Molesworth Gallery, amazing piece. Standing on my own two feet, and she's showing off her new LD runners, as she told me. And this is John Lambert, che checkerboard, again, the crossover between music and art. Stuff, is it? He collects these beautiful antique pieces. Yeah. And, um, they're stunning. Of course, he's a friend of the boys who played here on the stage. And we have to just big up Checkerboard because he's one of my all-time favorite Irish artists. <laughs> Good old John. Hi, John. Hope you're looking good. Deirdre McKenna might tell you a little bit about this. is an absolutely stunning. It's my favorite piece of Mojo. It is stunning. It's stunning, and it's really hard to replicate. So it's a one-one print. And do you want to talk about it? This is talking about the sound coming out of the speaker. That's why it's... Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, um, it's white ink on black paper. And it's just slick. I just think it's beautiful. And that's Susie O'Malan, friend of mine. Incredibly moving piece. She's a spoken word artist as well. There's some amazing, moving, very emotional writing in their very personal piece. And Micro Disney, a cork band, like... Yeah, it's a gob at me. Be careful. So gob at it. And Carol, she bought another really good friend of mine. I want to hold your hand. 
both friends of mine that I met down in Kivrelig and what was beautiful about the whole thing really was um, meeting all these lovely people and the crossover between graphics, high art, DJing, music, animation, illustration, you know, collecting, hoarding, everything. It just brought the whole thing, it just made sense in the end, of course, and waxing lyrical is me gabbing on about I'm waxing lyrical about the show. I don't forget Lisa's doing a great job there. Um, yeah, I think it's great, um, and it just shows there's, what, you know, for me coming to other voices, I don't associate other voices with just the church, and uh, didn't think all of this has gone on around it, maybe it was in other years, but uh, this is a great achievement. We're going to check out more on the trail later on, thanks for tuning in.